Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new stuff that just dropped in the pack market. And just, I honestly just kind of want to laugh about the way that this season is ending. One of the things in the pack market right now that I just saw so makes me laugh. I just think it's really funny. So, uh, I'm gonna talk about what that is here in just a second. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate if you all be subscribed. This has unfortunately been the worst um, game season in recent memory in my team because of the gambling on the content. And until that changes, I think that might just be the way that it is, unfortunately, for the for the time being, which is disappointing, of course. But at the same time, I do think there is. There is potentially hope if if they stop doing the gambling content in season six. We'll see. I don't know. If they don't stop doing the gambling content, well, this game's just ruined and it kind of is what it is. I don't know what to say. Regardless, um, yeah, yeah. Today they dropped super packs, which is like, okay, whatever. Super packs and then my team promo packs, a season five promo pack. That is what dropped in the player market. No buyable players this week or special offers or anything like that with VC as far as, far as I can tell. And yeah, there's nothing else here. So it's just these super packs and promo packs. And um, I mean, the super packs, let's, let's look at the odds on the super packs. In 99 and 100 overalls are less than 2%, as we assumed. So dark matters and 100 overalls are very hard to pull. Opals are a 3% chance and pink diamonds are a 17% chance. This is basically what the odds of all the regular packs in the store have been all season. Pretty much. These are 25,000 because I guess they guarantee a player card from season five. That's like the only reason that these would be a little bit more expensive is because they do guarantee a player card from season five, which to be fair, there are a good amount of like, um, oh, you can actually, I guess, pull uh, rush cards as well and stuff. So there's a good amount of pink. There's a good amount of diamonds and amethyst that you can pull, but uh, you, you're going to be pulling a lot of amethyst and diamonds. A lot of these guys because only 17% chance of the pink diamonds in general. They're slightly better packs in terms of your consistent pack to back value than what you get out of this bracket busters pack, but it also costs 4,000 in team or per pack. Uh, but it's just an empty gamble pack, not very good odds. That's, that's all this is, you know what I mean? It's just the same stuff we've been seeing. Now, these season five promo packs, this is the thing that I found really funny about what they dropped today. Look at the odds here. It says 0% for 100 overall that is hilarious to me because okay so contains one guaranteed pink diamond or higher player card so it's a 45,000 mt pack or 40,000 5,000 vc i'm sorry pack for a pink diamond or higher so at least it's a pink diamond or higher now the pro, pro packs they've been dropping all season have been only guaranteed diamond or higher it's like a 75 percent chance it should a pink diamond but um at the same at the same time if you open like what are the odds on an opal the odds on an opal are still only 13 percent so the odds on the opal previously on the promo packs were 10 percent, so they raised them slightly and you do have a three percent chance at a dark matter which is like not nothing but it's still pretty small especially on a pack that is this expensive 45,000 vc you open 10 packs on average you're still gonna pull like let's say you make 35,000 mt per Dot pink diamond and you wind up selling most of them so you make like 300k mt and then you pull one opal basically you spend a hundred dollars for 300k and one opal on average and like a maybe a 20 percent chance 30 percent chance to pull a dark matter in a in 10 packs if you spent a hundred dollars on vc like in all, all honesty you're probably not going to pull a dark matter you're likely only going to pull one opal if you pull any and um, the pink times you pull are just mostly going to be cards you just wind up selling. So you're going to make 300k MT. And what are you going to do with that MT? Absolutely nothing. Because there is nothing really to do with MT besides lock-in packs for more unsellable Galaxy Opals. Uh, or lock-in pink diamonds. And most people, I think, who are buying packs have already locked those sets in. So, like, there is no point to opening these packs. The odds on them are still not good enough to justify opening. I mean, unless you... Are, I mean, there, there, no, there is no unless. There are people out there who really want Wimby, but I don't have Wimby. I don't care. I'm not... I refuse. I won't do it. There's just... No. Do not open these packs. Don't... Please. We got to do better as a community. Like, stop opening packs. It, it's... Ugh. This is... I don't know. I'm, it's going to be really important this week to see what the dev blog looks like. Like, so important. I think this is the most, most important dev blog and my team playbook that we've ever really had. Um, like, I think it's going to be absolutely crucial that they drop really, really good content um, and not gambling only. Like, that's the. It doesn't even have to be that great of content. It just has to be non gambling. Because honestly, my opinion is if these cards that have come out this season, look at all these cards, there are a ton of great cards from and you can even ignore the 100 overalls like 
outside of the 100 overalls there are tons of great cards if you could buy from the dark matters down even if the 100 overalls were all in packs only which i still think sucks that's still gambling but regardless even if they're still only in packs only and they're super rare to pull like they are um and then you can buy all the dark matters you can buy all the opals all the pink if you could buy all this content I think this game would be popping right now because there has been a lot of great content this season. And to be fair, the Rush Rush content, I mean, besides not giving us any really good bigs, was actually pretty good. Like the free content that we got through Rush between Reeves, Wiggins, Worthy, Rodman, like those are some pretty solid cards that we got out of this Rush promo. So um, in my personal opinion, I actually think that the Rush, like the content this season wasn't atrocious we got a new domination and it wasn't bad cards in the domination that shangun is really good that bronze pretty good like we got some pretty decent content in the season the easter event wasn't incredible by any means it was too short and it wasn't executed amazingly uh i will agree that was that was lame but there was enough this season where it would not have been a terrible season if the content itself was just attainable but the content being unattainable by any other means than just by spending your money all season and just hoping is is just it's not gonna work it's not a long-term strategy for success at all um and i truly just wonder like long term what is the strategy uh, as a company for for 2k like is is there a long term financial strategy that's something i've mentioned multiple times on this channel and i truly wonder what the answer is like i would love to hear from people at 2k and just understand what their thought process is with this or who the decision makers are but unfortunately that's never going to happen realistically and you know what, what that's okay if it doesn't happen that, that that's all right at the same time um stop opening packs don't support this and let's freaking together pray that they stop with this gambling only content because yikes it's bad and it makes me want to explore other youtube career paths and honestly <laughs> I, I enjoy my team still, but I don't enjoy it right now. I'm not playing it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't play the game outside of making videos right now. And for those of y'all who do, that's totally in, in fine. I'm making these videos for y'all, but uh, this game's not fun to play right now because of this gambling content. I just can't support it. So at the end of the day, those are my thoughts. I think I've kind of made them pretty clear. Um, I appreciate those of y'all who still watch and support my, my content. And... Um, I encourage people, if you're going to play the game, keep playing it, play it in a no money spent fashion. Uh, it is still playable in the fashion and actually, I think, relatively rewarding, uh, at least at times. So, I don't know. We'll see what the dev blog looks like. That's going to be really, I think, truly crucial in terms of really seeing what the future of this game mode holds, like I was saying. But um, that is something we really won't know the answer to for another couple of days. So between now and then, all we can really do is wait and hope, I guess. Um, I mean, they know that we don't like this. I think there has been feedback from every single corner of everybody. Even next makers have told people have told the people at 2K that we are not a fan of this content. They know it. The question is, is, is it going to change? Um, and the honest answer is, I don't know. I hope so. I'm not exactly getting my hopes up, though, if that makes sense. Uh, I just think, realistically, there's a very, very good chance it doesn't, and I'm just going to be really disappointed. But, hey, it is what it is if that's the case. And, um, yeah, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.